outer derivatives what is a derivative so specifically we will be talking about derivative at a point what does it mean actually how does we define how do we define this so as a definition a derivative at a point is just a limit derivation or derivative at a point is just a limit so what what does it mean mathematically so let us assume that there is a function fx and this is a real valued function that is it is defined in certain interval certain domain and this interval in this which it is defined so whatever you give between a and b you will get a value of y if you put some value of x in between a and c so let us say this x which you are putting in fx is c c is belonging to a comma b and this is an open interval so we are talking about function and this fx is said to be differentiable or derivative what is a derivative at some point c for example you have a domain so say uh, an interval from 2 to 5 you take a value 3 in between now say some function y equals sin x now you want to put sin 3 so you are going to get a value of y so then you will say this function is a differentiable or derivative exists at x equal to c that is 3 here so this function is differentiable if and only if the condition is what the condition is limit limit must exit for example limit x tends to c for example x equals x equals 3 here fx minus fc that is well taking the value of fx and then the value at particular point 3 in this case and x minus c so this limit should exist finitely and then we say this fx is differentiable is differentiable it is existing finitely so this limit is called as derivation derivative or differentiation of this function fx at some point x equals to c if it is giving some zero by zero form you can take the limit if it is okay then you say that this is the derivation this is the only derivation we will talk about its physical you know interpretation etc but basic is derivative is this only it's only the limit it is only the limit nothing else so let me take uh, you to the different notation of this fx uh, dash x that is this whole bracket inside is f dash c this is a representation dash represent derivation then you can also call it it as capital D of fc or also call as d by dx of fx and what is fx y as I just took so dy by dx at x equals c so if we have any differentiation essentially you are doing what this f dash c that is value of this fx at some point c is a limit x tending to c and fx minus fc by x minus c right so when we say that this is 0 by 0 and we have changed it or we are able to show that it exists there is no formation indeterminate case then we say this is the derivative so in this whole discussion we will say that this is fx function is differentiable that is in this certain domain it is in it's differentiable and this limit will take it as you know when we discuss limit that is the left hand limit has to be equal to the right hand limit and it has to be equal to the function at that particular value right so we say c minus we will take c plus we will take that is c plus sometimes we will put c plus h other time we will put c minus h and then we will try to equate and we will say it is equal then we say that the limit exists and as I am saying c plus c minus is exist x plus h sometime x minus h sometime so this limit we have already seen but this limit we are applying and we are saying it that this fx minus f, fx fc by x minus c is there that is your differentiation 
Okay, I'll tell you an example. Let me tell you an example. And then you will understand what we just discussed. Okay, so we have, see, we have a function, say, fx, and this fx function is x square plus 1. Now, as I said, you have to have some c value, that is some value, uh, some uh, value in the, do in the range domain. So, you have 2. So, you have to find out the derivative or derive it derivation at f dash f2. So, f dash 2 we are going to find out. As I said, it is just essential limit. So, you say c plus or c minus. So, let us take c plus. Okay, we are going to put fx minus fc by x minus c. This I already told you. You have to apply limit x tends to c. In this case, c is 2. c is 2. So, x tends to 2 and I am doing it for 2 plus. That is 2 plus h I am going to put. So, in place of x, you are going to put 2 plus h minus fc. Of course, c is 2 and divided by 2 plus h, 2 plus h minus 2. So, this is x minus c. In place of x, I am putting x plus h. So, this is extending to 2 as I said, extending to c. But since we have put x as 2 plus h, h is tending to 0 because x minus 2 if you take and if you say that x is equal to 2, h is going to be 0. So, limit h tends to 0 now. Now, what are you going to get? Wherever you have this 2 plus h, in x, replace it by 2 plus h. So, 2 plus h whole square minus f2. So, f2 you have to put in place of x you are going to put 2. So, 2 square plus 1. I am just replacing this x with 2. So, 2 square is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. And this is 2 plus h square plus 1 also. There is what plus 1 I am just going to add this. So, you have h square. I am opening it a square plus b square plus 2ab formula. So, h square plus 4h plus 4. This is also plus I am just going to change it. So, a square plus b square plus 2ab and also plus 1 also. So, what do you get? a square plus b square is 2 square that is 4 plus h square that is h square and 2 into 2 into h 4 h. So, 5 and 4 plus 1 gets cancelled. So, h square plus 4 h it is. Now, h square plus 4 h I am just going to change this plus. So, h square plus h now you can take h common and then h can get cancelled. This is these are all plus as I just said. So, this h gets cancelled you have h plus 4 and now you apply the limit here. Limit is h tending to 0. So, h is going to be 0 and 0 plus 4 is 4. So, you are going to get the value. This is f dash 2. f dash 2 is 4. That is differentiation of this function at 2 is, is 4. So, what are you going to find out? In f dash, you are going to find out d by dx, dy by dx and y is fx here. Okay. Then what you have done? You have just done the limit. You have taken the limit which is extending to 2. For what? f2 plus h minus f2 divided by this, this uh, x minus c as I indicated ar you earlier. So, this is the derivative at a point. It is It was 0 by 0 form earlier, but we proved it that it is not 0 by 0. We have a proper limit here, left hand limit, right hand limit and that is going to be 4 and that is the differentiation value. Okay, And we will see the physical interpretation of this derivative at a point. Okay.